D and D show today on stage we have Roger Cadell. How you doing, Roger Cadell? Good. How are you? Um, today we're gonna to talk about football concussions. Um, so I have a couple questions for you. So in recent news, the number of concussions in the game of football today is still very high. Yes. And they have very high rates. But who can we ask for change? Can we ask the commissioners? Can we ask the coaches? Or can we ask the medical team? Well, it's gonna take all three parties together um, to create any change. So we have to do that in the coming years. Yeah, you're right about that, but we want to change now. I mean, you know what I mean? So tell me some ways or some something or somehow that change is coming upon. Well, we've already made a couple changes like putting uh, medical personnel on the sideline that have nothing to do with each team's bias that um, are there to treat or diagnose concussions. Um, we have levels of concussions. Um, we're not letting players go right back into play on the first game. Fuck all them. the bullshit. What about the helmets? What are the helmets doing to help our players? Well, we've, we've kind of transformed, obviously, since football started to now. The helmets have been dramatically... Okay, watch it, though. So what are some things that football commissioners can reduce, that can help reduce the thing of concussion? The thing well, of concussion? there's only one commissioner, and that's me, <laughs> not commissioners. But, you know, we're going to change the helmet, but to be honest, I feel like it's a waste of money to keep changing it. So well, why, and, what, what, what do we really need helmets for anyway? And you know that's my saying? point. That what's, is my point. What's your point? Why are y'all upgrading these helmets and spending so much money on a fake helmet that's not helping concussions? Because we're doing it for the public. You're doing it's it for the public. Because we're doing it for the public. We have a guest speaker here today who has suffered many concussions. He's out of the game today and his name is Mike Love. So hey guys, today we have Mike Love on the stage with us today. I mean, he barely made it, but um, he suffered many concussions. He played for the Giants back in 1996, and I don't know how he's making it through the day. Um, Mike Love, so I want you to talk to me. I want you to explain to Roger Goodell that these helmets that they are making today, and the helmets that they had back then, they are still the same. Because guys are having the same thing you have. And aren't you diagnosed with this type of disease? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm diagnosed with CTE, a chronic brain disease. Yes, 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 yeah. you are. Now, can you tell me how has that affected you? Well, I I love the game at first. It 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 it, it just it got. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It got well, out of hand with the helmets. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you my love. You know what I mean? Because he's suffered bad. He can't even walk straight anymore. You know what I mean? His brain is all jacked up. And Roger Goodell, thank you for the day. Nice meeting you. Have a great day. You too, sir. All right. That's all for the D&D &D show.